How do you like it? Well, good. I'm glad. <laughs> they must be doing something new to the noodles because they're just... good. After this house is about some ice cream. Or... or we could watch some TV. I've got quite a bit recorded, so we could, uh, uh, skip the commercials. Whatever you like. Maybe this weekend we should go out. <laughs> we never go out anymore. Uh, I think it'd be fun. Remember when we used to go out and, and just watch? And just look at all the people and, and try to imagine what lives they've led? what they did for a living, if they'd ever been in love, if they'd ever cheated, the last time they'd had sex, if they'd had sex, how they'd die. <laughs> Could you pass the salt? Thanks. Feels almost like I don't know you now. Which really concerns me because I feel like at one point you were all I knew. And if I don't know you and I don't know anything else but you... I don't think you should have left. I was good. I am good. 
Uh, y- you are too. Uh, you were so pristine to me, just immaculate. I remember I used to stare at you and try to find some flaw, but all I'd ever see was you staring right back, just exploring. <laughs> That's what I was always afraid of when it came to you. That you'd be off in your own world, exploring me, and eventually you'd have seen all there was to see. And get bored. And leave. I kept secrets. Little ones, big ones. Red ones, blue ones. I I had to, or else you might figure me out. And leave. I never could quite relax around you. It was all so freeing. I I was afraid I'd get carried away, give in too soon, the game would be over, and you'd leave. Maybe it was that way of thinking that did me in, in the end. Maybe my thoughts are what made you flip a switch that day and say I have to leave. I was happy. You were You were happy, too. Then we weren't. Then you were. Then you were gone. You inspired me day in, day out. Your radiant eyes and resplendent hair made circles in my cranium, wrapping up my thoughts of you into tight little bundles of a happiness that I may never see again. Perhaps you'll come back to me some distant day. I'll know real love then. It's not often that two souls like ours meet, but with beauty comes fragility. The symmetry we share takes the air out of my lungs, forming a vaporous reservoir of like-mindedness and truth that effortlessly supplies my heartache. It seems like it was only yesterday that we gazed into each other's eyes with what I dreamt to be infatuation but would soon come to find was merely the sun's reflection, fooling me into believing that the sparkle I saw had come from the heart. It's not often that two souls like ours meet, and fragility takes its toll.